gotta make a video today, don't we? Oh yeah. That's muy importante. Alright guys, uh, I think something's wrong with Noor today. I'm not sure if he's functioning well, but... I wouldn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> straight, straight. straight? Yeah, let's go. Go straight, straight. Oh my god, is this fast, man! What As you can him? see, something's wrong with him, clearly. Uh, downshift, downshift. Why is it downshifting, bro? Downshift, yeah, yalla. Alright, we're good. Shift, come on, you got this, dude! Woo! Oh my god, but I feel the power, man, you know? Alright guys, so we are going to be classic dipping all four of his rims. If you guys haven't seen it, you should show him the spoiler, dude, and the logo. But yeah, we're going to do the rest of his wheels, too, so it's going to be pretty dope. Yeah, I'll let you down. Shut your guy, Krishy. Go to my car. Okay, this is my car, guys. Tell him, tell him, like, I promise you guys. I like, promise you guys, this car going to be a beast. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful view right there. With the subway. Are we sponsoring subway today? Nah. Not today? They, they took ten dollars from you. Okay, guys. Uh, you guys remember when we plastic the the spoiler and the emblem, the infinity emblem? Um, that's how it looks right now. It's pretty clean. I really like it. So, yep. So now that's how it looks right now. And today we're gonna plastic the different rooms. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I, I pretty much loosened the trim. I did that so when I start up the car, I can actually move the steering wheel and loosen it up down here using a regular screwdriver. Um, now, I want to actually remove the airbag. And I don't want to do this with the car on because you're going to have some lights on the dash. You don't want to deal with that if you don't have the Carly app or any kind of, you know, OB2 code scanner. So I'm trying to do it in a way that you guys won't have to deal with problems. So just make sure you disconnect the battery, just, you know, um, the black terminal. That's all you have to do. It's one wire. It's like one screw off. So once you do that... The car shouldn't be able to turn on and you'll be able to remove the airbag uh, with no problem. Chilling in my new crib. Cops are camping outside. What surveillance? They just close your cases. Alright guys, as you can see the negative terminal is right there. I put a bag underneath to make sure no connection occurs while I'm working on the airbag. As you guys can see, the bracket kind of pops out there. It's no longer in there. You have to bring it out and then you can pull out the cable. Same applies to the other side. You put it in there. Just wiggle it out. And you see the cable has just come straight on out. And once you do that, the airbag shouldn't be connected to anything. And bam! That's how you get your airbag out. Alright guys, so now what you want to do is get a flathead in that little spot right there. Pop that cable out. And this one should just come right on out. Alright guys, so you just pull this out of both sides after you disconnect all the cables. And that should just come out just like that. Now if you actually have paddle shifters, that's where the cables go in for the paddle shifters on this side. And on this side, I'm probably going to reuse this trim because I love this one specifically. It's unpainted. This is the natural um, M3 one as you guys can see. It's got the barcode and everything. Uh, so I'm going to reuse this one. And that's where I'm going to put it, plug in my paddle shifters on both sides. I just loosened up the bolt. You can just pretty much hand untighten it now at this point. All right, so the bolt's out, guys. And the steering wheel, once you get everything out, should just come right on out, just like that. All right, guys, so Burger Tuning is the website, the, the company that mailed me out these guys. They gave me a slight discount, but it works. Uh, it's going to help me with this retrofit. Uh, if you go to their website and click on their paddle shifting retrofit guide, um, it literally has a step-to-step -step picture tutorial. Um, really, really helpful. Literally, you can find, you just go step by step and it literally tells you everything you need to do uh, to get the retrofit kit in there and um, start this installation. Alright guys, so once I remove this guy, um, I'm going to go ahead and remove all this trim so I can get to the wiring down here for the actual shifter. 
as you guys can see, I did, I'm following the step-to-step -step guide. That's how I'm doing it. I literally just took off the shifter and now I'm gonna shove the screwdriver behind the trim to remove the trim. Keep All right, so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the cables. There's one for the navigation. All right, so I disconnected this guy. All right, guys, so this is the blue cable that we have that we're gonna retrofit back in. So you wanna get this cable out of here, and once you get it out, you wanna disconnect it. All right, guys, so this is the cable we're gonna be putting in between, and we're gonna reroute this to come all the way over here, but we're not gonna leave it like that, that's ugly. We're gonna reroute it down here so it goes all the way in, it'll be really nicely set up, and uh, that should activate our paddle shifters. So this side plugs in like this, and this side of the wire plugs in right here, and that's literally the, the X, I don't know what that does, but that, that's what helps you shift. Gotcha. All right guys, so this cable got routed in there and it came out of here. Um, that is gonna be in the t their, their step-to-step -step guide. Right now we're gonna try to fit this harness into this one. I already showed you guys how to plug in the other side, the blue side. So at this point, there is a little clip in the harness. Once you get the harness out, by the way, how you do it, for the harness, there's a little black tab in there. You just click the black tab with your finger and then the, the gray one will get the whole um, adapter out. And then once you do that, there's a little black piece in here. Put your flathead in there, pull out. Once you get the official cable out, you plug in the, the adapter, the harness. All right guys, we got the harness in the adapter. That's all wired in. We're just gonna tuck the wires back and fit the cable in here. All right guys, so I just put the, the plastic piece back on. It wasn't as hard to be honest. Um, I thought when I read the guide, it's gonna be really, really hard to put back on. You just literally put the tab in on this side, put the tab on this side and slam it up. Then it goes back in. I got the harness in right here, rerouted it like in the guide. Brought it back over here. Now I'm gonna attach all this back together, put this in, and then start installing the steering wheel. All right, uh, so this is the trim off my original wheel. This is the trim that was on the wheel that I got. It's plastic, I don't know, it's not, it's painted, but I don't like the texture of paint. I like the original one, so I'm gonna use the original one right here, not the painted one. I mean, it's not that big of a difference, but I'm kind of picky. And uh, I'm gonna install it in the paddle shifting steering wheel. Um, I got this for a really good deal. But the issue is all this leather is like cracked and faded. I didn't, I actually ordered it perfectly fine, but it came like this, so I got a pretty good refund. So all this is getting fixed right now. Um, in the future, uh, other than that, everything else needs to be okay. We're gonna test out the paddle shifters, hopefully everything works, and that hopefully the retrofit works, and this should all just work. I need the screwdriver, bro. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm screwing in the trim right now. Once I screw in the trim, uh, I'm gonna put the steering wheel back on the car. It's gonna be a whole lot easier. All right guys, so the steering wheel is in there now. And now I'm just gonna open up the tabs on these uh, wires and then I'm gonna put the airbag back in. Cops are camping outside. Box surveillance, they just close your cases. to make it and rub it in. All right guys, so the wires are all in at this point. I'm just making double checking because once I put back this airbag, it's gonna be kind of a pain to get it back out. Um, I just memorized that I plugged this in Make sure the wires are not in the way of any of the clips that the airbag goes in. And to be honest, guys, I think we are ready. I'm just a little bit nervous for this, but uh, let's try it. All right, went in pretty easy. That is a complete product. Now let's see um, if the paddle shifters work. Damn, is that a glass fire? Yeah. Wow, that actually came out oh, really oh, clean. Shout out to Yusuf, man, for doing yeah, this. Yeah, Yusuf did all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Thank you for Yusuf, man. Shout out to you. Yo, can I get a pop tag? Yeah, he's getting the pop tag. Turn the hey. camera. <laughs> <laughs> pop tag, boys. How much do you need, Yusuf? How much do you need? 100 bucks? 200? 100 is too low, man. Okay. You know, my budget is at least you, 400 bucks. $1,000. I know, or 400, 400 bucks. When is your video coming out, Yusuf? Huh? When's your video coming out? <laughs> Lala, turn the camera, happy. Soon, maybe. Soon. Have you guys got the videos to 100 likes? He's getting a video out, don't worry. I'm gonna make him get a video out. No, no, out. 200 likes. 200 likes? No, no, we're, we're not there yet. Take it, out in Vegas. They know I got birdies. They won't meet and cake it. Take it, out in Vegas. Feel so popular. They all been watching me. Get off my block, it's And guys, before we end the video, um, 
I just want to tell you guys why I didn't show any footage of me using the paddle shifters. My cousin or uh, my friend Muhammad was recording. The audio was turned off. Um, it just didn't make any sense. I, he didn't even record me actually doing the paddle shifters. He was recording the ride as a passenger. So it didn't end up looking good at all for the footage. Um, but just to show you guys, I actually have the wheel uninstalled and the reason for that is the guy ended up pretty much scamming me. So not only is the leather down there pretty torn up, it has a painted trim, but apparently the paddles just don't work either. It's just absolute waste of money. Um, I, I took it off as soon as possible and I already contacted eBay telling him, you know, he partially refunded me for the leather, but then I soon found out that the paddles don't even work. Actually, one of them, the negative button works and the other one doesn't work at all. Like so, like downshift. So I, that's how I actually know it's the paddles, not the, not the kit, not my car. It's the actual paddles because I use uh, one of those positive negative uh, terminal things that you you don't know, checking devices. I don't know what's it called. And I checked them, and the left um, and the left paddle had no power whatsoever. So that clearly shows that there's something wrong with these paddles. I took it out. I'm gonna ship it back tomorrow. But yeah, this kit is amazing. I actually can't believe my car actually downshifted. I was like, wow. But I was upset that I have to take it all back apart. But I'm happy, again, because it's possible. You gotta look at the bright side, it's possible. So I'm gonna be ordering another wheel, probably one that's carbon fiber. If you guys wanna see one that's carbon fiber, smash that like button, let me know down in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy this video, I did a little bit of a cinematic thing, and I did a little bit, you know, some funny stuff here and there. Let me know, uh, I really did enjoy making this video. So yeah guys, peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. She got me saying, yalla baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy, you know.